Okay, most of us are saying uh, negative z direction. That's actually going to be turn out to be correct. The, the magnetic field outside of the loop, but still in the plane of the page, due to this loop of wires, is going to be turned out to be in the negative z direction. Now it's a little tricky to see, but you can kind of make a plausibility argument. So here's the segment, the segment that's closest, and that's going to make a magnetic field pointing in what direction? That's going to make a magnetic field pointing in, right? Because we have I cross R thumb points in. So I have, if this is 1, 2, 3, and 4, we have a delta B1 pointing inward. What about the field due to the top segment? What's that direction going to be? That's actually going to be outward, isn't it? Because if I draw an R vector from here to here, I have I cross R thumb points out. What about for three? Same thing, right? I, delta cross R, thumb points out. And for four? It's also going to be out. So how do I know it's pointing into the board? The, uh, the, yeah, the other segments are further away, right? Because so when we're doing this uh, via Savar law, it's also the distance that matters. And so Presumably, delta B2, delta B3, and delta B4 are pointing in, but their magnitude is smaller than the magnitude of the field, or pointing out, but the magnitude of the field pointing in is much larger. Okay? And you can kind of see that, you know, first of all, this is a very large angle, so that's going to be a small cross product. This is a very small angle, that's going to be a small cross product. This is a large distance, okay? So that's going to be a, a small magnitude of that field compared to this segment here, okay? We haven't worked it out and formally proved it, but you can kind of see how it would be plausible. 